Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how to make the skin of your subject smoother in DaVinci Resolve 17. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. Alright, so I'm in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now. We are on the edit page. I'm going to show you how to remove all those tiny imperfections in my current model. Uh, skin. So I have the clip of my model, uh, nothing crazy, she's just talking, but as you can see there is just some imperfection in the skin and the light is a bit harsh on the forehead and I would like to have basically the skin a bit smoothed out. Usually I would have to go to the color page and apply the beauty effect there, but now you can do it directly in the edit page. Quick disclaimer, uh, I think it's not available for the free version, it's only for the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, so DaVinci Resolve 17 Studio. Uh, again, one more reason to buy the software, there is so many great features with noise reduction. That being said, let's jump right into it. So right now I'm gonna go to Effect Library and I'm gonna go with Beauty. And basically we're gonna apply the Beauty effect onto our clip. The cool thing about it is the one in the color page is really good, you have a lot of options. It's called um, face refinement, I think. Um, but this one is really simple. So if you just don't want to bother with going to the color page and really tweak um, every little thing and you just want to have an overall uh, beauty filter that works really well, just use this one. It's really good, it does the job. You're gonna see that in a second. So basically make sure that right here you have OpenFX overlay activated instead of transform so you can see actually what's going on. And here, let's make the magic happen. So we're gonna use the slider and push it a tiny bit. And as you can see, if I do already a quick before and after, the skin is way smoother. Obviously, don't go too far with it because otherwise you're just gonna destroy your image and it's just gonna be a mush of texture. Uh, but you know, just a tiny bit goes a long way. Uh, like apply 200, 300, and you're already gonna see really, really nice results. Uh, and as you can see, it works really, really well. No need for tracking, no need for anything. And if I do uh, on and off, there is a huge difference in my opinion without destroying your image. And as I said, it's way easier to use than the one in the color page. At least less confusing if you're a beginner and you want to smooth the skin out. Uh, there is less parameter, you just have to play with one scale, uh, the Amon scale, how much do you want that effect to be applied, and that's pretty much it. So that's how it's done. Let's check a before and after. And as you can see, the result is amazing. In my opinion, it's one of the best effects that they bring over to the edit page uh, with the 3D keyer uh, to remove green screen and whatnot. Uh, it's, it's just really, really nice what they've done with the edit page on this uh, DaVinci Resolve 17 update. I hope that was useful. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.